Hello everyone, this is Sudipto from Technical Potpourri and welcome to my new video. Today I will be discussing about Summer 22 release from Salesforce. In today's video, I will be sharing some of my favorite features which are mainly admin related, but I will be publishing more videos in coming days covering more industry specific and development specific new features. So without any further delay, let's start. Before I begin, I'd like to let you know that if you have any feedback, please put it in the comment section. And finally, please subscribe to my channel to get notification of all my upcoming videos. So let's talk about the first new feature. With Summer 22 release, you can enable person account without contacting Salesforce support. This is a huge benefit. Trust me, like, you know, I have uh, done uh, person, I've done a lot of implementation involving person account and every time to enable a person account in uh, org, you need to contact Salesforce support and you know, it's, it's, there, there is always a, you know, time, it's always a time consuming uh, fact because, you know, you will create a Salesforce support ticket and then they will enable that for you. Mm, but now you can enable the person account without contacting Salesforce support team. So let's see how you can do that in one of the pre-release org. So right now I am in one of the pre-release org and to enable a person account, what you need to do, you need to go to your setup on your search window on your quick find search for person account and you'll find there is a person account under accounts click on that and then this window will open up first it will it will you know help you to check whether your account your org is ready to uh, enable the person account what it's showing is that you know you do a org impact first you need to understand the impact of turning on the person account because once you enable that you can't disable it so you read all this thing and then you click on continue. So it means your org impact is done. Then what the next step is that you need to create an account, account record type. For that, let's go to the account object. And whatever they're telling, follow that. You need to go to the record type and you need to make sure uh, you need at least one record type you need at least one record type set up for the business account. So if you go to your account, I'm in my account. And if I go to my record type, there is no record type for the account. So let's create one record type and call this as a business account. And Click on next, give it an account layout, give it a page layout and save. Once you do that, you refresh this page. It should tell you that, yeah, all your checkboxes are done. So once you have uh, satisfied all the condition uh, to enable the person account, what you can do, you can just click on this enable person account at the end of an end of your page. And Again, the warning sign is like, once you enable the person account, you can't disable that. And your person account is enabled. So this is a very quick way to enable a person account before before Summer 22. We have to contact Salesforce support team and they will enable for you. But right now it's, you know, you have the full control. You can do it by yourself. Let's talk about the next one. Slack. We all know that Salesforce acquired Slack last year and it became very popular. So now you can enable Slack for Salesforce right from your setup window. It will make the integration between Salesforce and Slack very easy. So let's see how we can do that in one of the pre-release org. I'm again in my pre-release org. To enable Slack for this org, what I need to do, I need to go to my setup section and find out Slack. The way I can do that, I can type slack on the quick find and then this will this option will come enable slack for salesforce and then uh, you need to accept the terms and condition once you do that it will tell like you know 
show object type only or show record name you choose any one for example i'm choosing this one show object type and there the, the, i'll be publishing a detailed video uh, once you enable that what are the things that you can do uh, integrating slack with salesforce but this is a very quick way to in, to enable slack for your salesforce org so let's talk about the next feature this is one of my favorite feature from summer 22 basically what you can do from your lightning app builder you can customize and filter the related list for your record for your record page layout so let's see how what we can do okay so i'm in my pre-release org so to test this new feature what i'll do i'll go to my account and open one of my account uh, let's say I'll, I'll open salesforce.com and what I'm going to do, I am going to go to the edit page. It will open the lightning app builder for this page. Now what I can do here in the related section, I can, I can have my own related list and I can do a lot of customization with those related list. Let's say I will be adding a related list. Let's get rid of all this thing. Uh, uh, let's say it's an opportunity related list. The moment you choose opportunity, there is an option that you you want to do you want to upgrade to a dynamic related list. Let's click on that upgrade now. The moment you do that, you can do a lot of things with this related list. Let's say I want to display all the opportunity where the opportunity amount is more than hundred k. So for that uh, opportunities with amount greater than equals to 100k, I can give a new name here. Uh, and then here I can choose a filter where I can say that amount is greater than equals 100k. At the same time, I can I can from right from here, I can select what are the fields that will be displayed on the related list. So I can create, I can choose another one more field, let's say uh, create a date. So this is a way how I can create opportunity, the my customized related list. Let's say I want to create one more related list here, which will be opportunities. Again, let's say opportunity and i will upgrade to a dynamic related list and this time opportunities with amount less than 100k here what i'll do i'll add a filter in the filter i'll choose amount and less than 100k and now i'll save that and if i go back to my record page the account record page what I can see, I have under this account, I have one opportunity where the where the opportunity amount is greater than 100K. And I have this many opportunities where the amount is less than 100K. So basically what you can do, you can customize your related list right from the Lightning App Builder page. And in terms of customization, you can add new field uh, on the related list. You can add a filter you can provide the sorting sorting logic like which which field will be used to do the initial sorting and all these things so you can do a lot of new things which was not possible before summer 22 release so let's talk about the next feature so the next feature is like you know in the report there is a new median summary function available it was not there before with with summer 22 release it came up so let's see what is this new median summary function so now i am in my uh, pre-release org i'll go to the report section and let's say i'll create opportunity report in the opportunity report if i want to know the uh, median what i can do here i can create, i can summarize by this field and now i have a median it was not there before so this is a new okay so this is a new thing okay this is a median value so this is a new function that came up with summer 22 release let's see the next one 
Okay, so now you can create a custom address field. This though this is a beta stage, but uh, this was initially an idea that was posted a long, long ago. Mm, but and it got very popular, got a lot of upvotes, and finally Salesforce decided to deliver that as part of summer 22 release. So let's see how we can take advantage of this new custom address field. So I'm in that you know Salesforce pre-release org. To enable that custom address field, what we need to do, we need to go to our setup window and then under search for user interface and go to this user interface option. Here you will find that uh, there is an option use custom address field. It, by default, it will be disabled, so you need to enable that and then click save oh it's telling that before you enable the custom address field review the feature limitation and the configure state countries and territories so let's go ahead and configure that i'm not sure it's there or not but let's do that okay it's already there so i'm going to save that and then go back to my user interface and enable this option which is use custom address field and you can see it's in a beta stage and click on save. Once you do that, what you can do, you can go to yeah, it's save. Now, if you go to, let's say any object called account and then create a new field here, when you click on new, you'll find an option called address. This is a new one and then you can create your address field, custom address field. It will allows you to enter street, city, state, province, postal code. Mm, and when user selects an address using this tool, the street, city, postal code are populated. So basically you can do this field name. So these are my couple of favorite quick features, mainly admin related features that came up with the summer 22 release. And as I promised, I will be publishing more videos in coming days which will be focused either uh, industry for example health cloud, health cloud sales cloud or service cloud specific or experience cloud specific uh, new features or it will be more on a development specific new features that came up with the summer 22 release i hope you like this video and this video is helpful please hit the like icon and share and also please subscribe to my channel to get update about all my upcoming videos till then stay safe bye bye